Now, the County First Ladies Association will today launch a cancer awareness project in Kisumu targeting to sensitize women and girls to go for early screening. Laura Chengotino is in Kisumu with more details and good morning. Uh, Laura, we know that uh, cervical cancer and the uh, cancer of the breast are the main um, strains that affect uh, women. Uh, in this far as championing these women and girls to go for screening, what else are they telling them in as far as how you can be in a position to access those services? Uh, when it comes to accessing the health facilities. Well, indeed, Sam, the first ladies are hoping to also tap into the cancer support groups that exist within Kisumu County to try and see if they can hold a conversation at the grassroots levels to uh, sensitize women to show up in large numbers for screening. Remember, there has been a lot of conversation around cancer towards uh, sometime the mid uh, of during the mid of this year, but then that conversation seems to have toned down by now. And so, what the county first ladies caucus is doing is trying to revive that conversation and they're basically looking at women and girls uh, uh, to uh, go for early screening. Remember, this comes also just a month after the launch of the HPV vaccine, which has received an equal measure of criticism from uh, parents, mostly, who are saying that they are not really understanding the full health benefits of that uh, vaccine, which has uh, been critiqued by uh, various uh, members within the medical fraternity. So, of course, today uh, we know that uh, the, uh, uh, the guest of honor, Aida Odinga, is already uh, within the premises and therefore she will be giving a speech towards that. Nazi Kibona is also around and therefore uh, she's expected to also give um, a two, her two cents on how exactly they intend to uh, be uh, looking at how they'll be sensitizing women. Remember Kisumu County, uh, since health was devolved, has also made plans to uh, set up a cancer center which will cost one billion shillings. Uh, that groundbreaking was done in May but that plan has since remained in the conduits and in the dark because we've not seen a much of a, an activity going around the groundbreaking area. So, of course, we expect that the first ladies will also be talking about how exactly they intend to uh, convince county government to invest in cancer. Remember, Nakuru has also been seen to be uh, on the forefront in setting up a cancer center. Kakamega County also has one cancer center, but then it is uh, within uh, the private sector. But, of course, now what we are hoping to see or what the, count, uh, the county first ladies association is hoping to do is to to not only uh, uh, sensitize women to go for screening, but also to try and convince county governments to invest in the appropriate infrastructure to ensure that uh, the cancer burden is reduced by early screening and early diagnosis, and of course ensuring that patients get the right uh, treatment for the specific diagnosis of uh, the types of cancers that uh, they will be found with. Right, and Laura, exactly now the question comes in because there's that championing that people need to go for early can uh, screening, cancer screening, but in your coverage of Kisumu County, how prepared are the health facilities in that region in as far as screening for cancer? Do they have the facilities to be in a position to tell uh, early diagnosis? Well, Sam, there's only one radiotherapy machine within the entire uh, Kisumu County with one oncologist at this particular facility that we are standing on. And remember this being the largest uh, pr uh, public facility within the Western region, it serves uh, about uh, seven counties thereabout. And therefore, for, for there to be existing only one machine, that means that there is a lot of, uh, there's a long uh, queue uh, of people that are waiting for, uh, most of them have already been diagnosed, so most of them are walking in for treatment. But then in terms of screening, Sam, uh, cancer, uh, the conversation around cancer is still facing some kind of stigma because not a lot of people are willing to talk about it. Uh, for example, there were uh, people who we met within the cancer support groups and they were saying that immediately they noticed uh, something uh, off with their health. Uh, some of them just assumed that it would be something else and therefore they would go for off-the-counter uh, uh, prescriptions. And uh, they, uh, most of them got to realize that they have cancer much later on when the symptoms uh, got to worsen. But then Sam... Uh, the conversation around it is now are they to be blamed because if there are no infrastructure for early screening and in as much as the county first ladies are sensitizing people to go for screening then how practical is it considering within Kisumu County in the largest referral uh, hospital within the western region there is only one machine that has the ability uh, for screening and also radiotherapy so as it stands right now most of the people are still traveling all the way to Nairobi uh, for screening or uh, some could uh, go to uh, private facilities so of 
because as I said earlier, the county first ladies are also willing, uh, are also trying to sensitize county governments to invest in the appropriate infrastructure that will enable screening and diagnosis of that uh, cancer, Sam.